Hey lawyers, if you have an ebook or you're thinking about creating an ebook, make sure that you place said ebook in the proper marketing channels and in the proper places on your website to actually make it work for you and, and get the most out of it. Hi, my name is Jordan Molesky and I'm the Director of Operations with Social Firestarter. Uh, now I was actually just on the phone with a client and we were talking about ebooks and how they have three different ones. So my initial thing, my basically my rule of thumb is if the ebook is just there just as a download, um, you know, you can have it on your website, but it's not doing much for you. You know, it's, it's a free resource, but it definitely shouldn't be something, you know, front and center at the top of the, at the very top of the page. You know, it, it, it's essentially not making you any money or at least not directly. So, you know, a couple different things you can do here. So the client actually had a really cool idea where, you know, they initially said, hey, you know, the ebook is supposed to bring them to a funnel, right? A sales funnel or a funnel to download a free ebook. Now, that's only, you know, they, that's only good if essentially you capture, you're able to capture their email, their phone information, their name, and then follow up with them, you know? Because again, the whole idea is, if you're gonna get their information, you really should follow up with them. You really should, if, if you're gonna have an ebook on your website, you should have a way to follow up with them so then you're able to get, so you're able to get, um, uh, so you're able to get the information, um, so you're able to follow, sorry, able to follow up with them, so you're able to possibly, you know, uh, get them to hire you in the future. Um, now, the problem with that step is, is uh, that if they click on that and they go to a different, uh, if they go to a sales funnel, they're no longer on your page. So we actually talked about that a little more and, and now, we, now we're at the idea where instead of, it, um, instead of it actually being going to a completely separate page, it's now gonna be a lead magnet. So they're gonna capture the email and then they can follow up with them that way. So they stay on the website and they also uh, have the option to follow, follow up with them via email to see if they had any additional questions. Or the client is not pissed off that they just you know, went to a totally different website. Now they're like, ah, oh, I have to fill all this information in. I really don't want to do that. And you completely lose the lead. You know, now, they're, now they have the option to just kind of opt out and uh, click the little X in the uh, pop-up to, to not even fill out their information. And that still has, that gives you the potential to then get them to still call you or fill out your contact form that's a, that ends up being a direct lead. Now, because that's ultimately, you know, the ultimate goal what you want. That's another reason why we tend to tell clients, if you're gonna put an ebook on your website, it doesn't need to be something that's front and center. It should be something farther down the page. Something that's not gonna distract them from, again, what's gonna make you money. Get them to fill out a lead, fill out a contact form because they wanna hire you or fill out or, or give you, or you know, find your phone number to actually give you a call. Ultimately, that is what you want. So, let's recap here. Uh, with the ebook, if you're gonna have an ebook on your website, make sure that you essentially are capturing a lead, and the lead is essentially going to, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna capture a lead and then you follow up on said lead via email. See if they had any other, any other questions. That way you can potentially capture, you know, capture a, a, a new client. Um, you don't want it far, you know, too far up on the on your website. You want it kind of farther down, so that way, you know, you're not. That way, you're not. You're not. Um, that way, it's not distracting from you know the immediate immediate reason why they may have landed on your website to either fill out a contact form or to call you. Now, in regards to in regards to ebooks, the biggest advice I can give you is honestly they are used better for pay per click or for Facebook lead generation. Saying, "Hey, let me give you this for free," and then get them into you know then get them to fill out the information you know get them to click on your ad, and then that way you're giving them some for free, and then you can start giving them um, you know then you can you know kind of kind of work into that that marketing medium and that platform and, and give them stuff that way. Um, give them, you know, information that way and just kind of keep in their ear, you know, with a with a daily email sequence, kind of like, um, you know, kind of like what Andy does. So that that's kind of what you what what, what you would want to use a, an ebook or free ebook, um, you know, for not necessarily um, to, you know, for on your website. Thanks.